At Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, November 28, 2022, Mullen stock dips ahead of November 30th deadline. Will Dell Pack order 300 vans by November 30th? In July, Mullen Automotive stated that it could deliver 300 Class 2 cargo vans at the request of Dell Pack. Mullen has not released any updates on the potential delivery. Shares of Mullen stock are down by over 95% year to date. Shares of Mullen Automotive, NASDAQ MULN, stock hit a 52 week low of 19 cents today, as there is still no word on whether Dell Pack Logistics has requested 300 Class 2 cargo vans. In July, the two companies signed a binding agreement for Dell Pack Logistics to purchase up to 600 vans over the next 18 months. The first 300 vans could be delivered as soon as November 30 at the request of Dell Pack. Dell Pack is an Amazon logistics partner that serves shipping areas in Indiana. At the time, CEO David Mitchery said, This agreement is a milestone for Mullen Automotive. Dell Pack is a leader in last mile package delivery and this agreement puts our Class 1 cargo van program front and center for last mile delivery opportunities. The vans have a range of at least 200 miles with a maximum payload of 3,296 pounds. They are also equipped with a 78.8 kWh battery with a cargo capacity of 420 cubic feet. Now, November 30th is just two days away and there is still no word on the potential 300 van order. Mullen stock falls lower on Dell Pack order silence. Investors have become somewhat used to the hopeful arrangements issued by Mullen's management. In March, Mitchery teased that the identity of a major, major Fortune 500 company would be announced in the second quarter. That customer had supposedly made an order for Mullen's cargo vans. Well, it's now the third quarter and there is still no announcement to be made. That's led some investors to question the capability of Mullen's vans. While the Dell Pack deadline is still two days away, it's possible that both Dell Pack and the Fortune 500 customer found flaws in the vans upon further inspection which influenced them to delay their orders. Meanwhile, the electric vehicle company has other problems on its plate. Shares are currently miles away from the $1 minimum bid requirement price to stay listed on the NASDAQ and to be included in the Russell 2000 and 3000 indices. Mullen has until March 6 to regain compliance with the NASDAQ and until the rank day in May to regain compliance with the Russell indices. The deficiency has caused Mullen to release a proposal for a reverse stock split in a ratio between 1 for 2 and 1 for 25. The proposal will be voted on at Mullen's special meeting of stockholders on December 23rd. Thanks for watching. Numerian Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.